Implant Systems, 3. Implants introduce to clinical dentistry a new lexicon of terminology, that needs to be understood by all parties involved in implant dentistry the clinician, the patient, and the auxiliary support personnel. The implant, formerly referred to as a fixture, is the principal component of any implant system and is supplemented by a host of ancillary components. Modern implants are generally two-piece, consisting of the implant that is osseointegrated in bone, and the abutment that is attached to the implant and supports the prosthesis. Some one-piece implants, with an integral abutment are also available, for example, the Nobel Biocare Nobel Direct Registered Implant. 3. The Brainamark system was a two-piece implant with an external hex anti-rotation feature. ITI initially used a one-piece implant abutment combination, IMZ had a screw connection with no anti-rotation feature, and Tubingen had a proprietary post connection. Other manufacturers involved in early implant development were Corvent, 3i, Astra, Bicon, and, more recently Biohorizons, Camlog, Southern Implants, and others. 4. From a practical standpoint, the profession needs reliable manufacturers and suppliers of comprehensive systems. Implant pioneers, such as Brainamark and Schroeder, worked in tandem with manufacturing companies to research, develop, and engineer systems that were brought to the marketplace. Development of the early systems was empirical, both clinically and biomechanically. The pioneers designed and optimized implant shapes that could osseointegrate and maintain integration, and connection systems that could support functioning restorations. 5. A. A modern and osseous two-piece implant design comprising the implant and a screw-retained abutment, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. B. Modern one-piece implant with integral abutment, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 6. Implant materials Most modern implants are manufactured from commercially pure titanium grade 4, CPTI. Yield strength and O2 content increase from grade 1 through grade 4. Occasionally, a TI alloy, called aircraft grade titanium, TI6-4 or TI6-L4V or grade 5 TI, is used. It consists of 90% titanium, 6% aluminum, and 4% vanadium, and has many industrial applications. Other implant materials that are used include tantalum, TA, which is used by Zimmer, and zirconium, ZR, which is used by Straumann. In the past, tubingen implants were made from solid aluminum oxide, Al203, while other implants used plasma sprayed surface coatings of TI or Capo4. 7. TI oxides form a passivating layer on TI implants, largely preventing further dissolution, while providing the chemicals that are responsible for the biochemical reaction with bone. Modern surfaces may be machined, but most have proprietary textured surfaces. Some implants with Capo4 surfaces had problems with dissolution in body tissues and breakdown in osseointegration, Spyakerman 1995. There is very little long-term clinical data for Capo4 coated implants. Wadaha, 1996, has comprehensively reviewed implant materials. 8. Evolution of implant systems Evolution of systems The earliest system to enter the world marketplace was Nobel Pharma's Brainamark system from Sweden. This was followed by Straumann slash Bonefit slash ITI from Switzerland, Corvent, and Implant Innovation slash 3i within the United States, IMZ from Germany, and others. Over the past 30 years, convergence of implant systems has occurred, with implant companies providing a range of largely similar products with slight variation often related to details of shape, thread design, connection, abutment, and surface texture. 9. Innovations such as internal connections, surface texturing, and platform switching have been rapidly adopted and incorporated into all the major systems. Some companies, Dent Supply, offer several implant systems. Although there are many similarities between implant systems, components, and tools are not generally intercompatible. However, within systems, components and tools are often back compatible. 10. Modern implant systems currently, 
there is an abundance of implant systems and components to satisfy most surgical and restorative situations. Modern dental implant systems comprise a comprehensive array of precision instruments, components, interactive software, and techniques for creation of implant restorations. Instruments and components are generally color-coded for ease of identification and use. There are treatment planning, surgical and restorative armament aria supplied by the implant companies, together with educational, logistical, and laboratory support networks. In addition, detailed instructions are provided for the use of each system, surgical and restorative, and pertinent literature relating to the system, its nuances, and indications. 11. Implant shape, surface, and connection Significant changes have occurred with implant design in terms of shape, thread design surface texture, and connection design in response to demand for implant use in softer bone and prosthetic flexibility. The change to an internal connection was a significant step forward in implant evolution and clinical utility. 12. A. Nobel Biocare replaced trademark implants, 3 diameters, with tri-channel connections, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. B. Nobel Biocare collar and connection variations, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 13. Implant level impression coping and implant level restoration, UCLA abutment, early Brainamark implants had used an intermediary transmucosal abutment, cylinder, attached to the implant which compromised the aesthetics of crown and bridge work and encroached on the crown height space. Implant level impression copings and the implant level abutments, UCLA abutment, were introduced by Lewis et al. 1988, 1992, as clinicians endeavored to produce more aesthetic fixed restorations. 14. The implant level impression coping allowed the reproduction of the implant position and surrounding soft tissue on a laboratory cast. This enabled a crown to be shaped so that it emerged from the implant platform and through the mucosa in a manner similar to a natural tooth. The intermediary transmucosal abutment of the Brainamark design was thus eliminated for single crowns and bridges, and the final restorative abutment or crown, incorporating the UCLA abutment, was screwed directly to the implant. The UCLA abutment was an important development, allowing great prosthetic flexibility. 15. Prefabricated customizable abutments along with the UCLA abutment, implant companies started to produce standardized prefabricated abutments of different shapes and lengths in TI or ceramic, AL203 or ZRO2, which could be torqued into the implant and form the equivalent of a tooth preparation for conventional crown and bridge work. Some of these were designed to be modified or customized depending on the clinical situation. The final restoration could be cemented in place. 16. Computer-aided design, CAD, and computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, of TI and ceramic abutments gradually, abutments became available in ceramic materials to meet aesthetic demands. Eventually, abutments could be custom fabricated by CAD slash CAM techniques for optimum configuration and aesthetics. We are approaching a juncture when intraoral digital scanning for CAD slash CAM prosthetics will rapidly become the norm. 17. Interactive software, and instrumentation for computer-guided surgery and prosthetics Many companies provide interactive treatment planning software, example Nobel Clinician Trademark, that utilizes computed tomography, CT, data and customized implant guides to plan and guide implant placement. Custom surgical guides can be manufactured, and special drill kits are available for guided surgery. This technology further interfaces with CAD slash CAM technology for the fabrication of immediate restorations to be inserted at the time of surgery. 18. Surgical instrumentation implant companies provide high quality surgical instrument sets with instructions for use, maintenance, and sterilization. 1919. 20. A. Implant surgical set, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. B. Osteotome set and implant side preparation guide for soft bone, courtesy of Camlog. 21. Guidelines are also furnished for osteotomy preparation, 
sterile implant vials with implant data labels step-by-step -step instructions for osteotomy preparation surgical engines and hand pieces with suitable irrigation devices color-coded drills with millimeter markers that correspond to the implant shape and length direction indicators and depth guides with millimeter markers system of graded osteotomes for preparation of soft bone sites unique drills as needed for accommodating Specific implant collar shapes tapping drills for thread creation in dense bone tissue punch devices and bone mills to be used when uncovering implants at second stage surgery. 22. The clinician must be aware of instrument dimensions and sharpness of drills. Dull drills, with or without excessive pressure, may cause bone damage and implant failure. Many implant companies are introducing single-use bone drills. Implants are supplied sterile in sealed vials, with custom connections for insertion drivers, motor or hand. Press fit implants have mallet devices for tapping the implants into the prepared osteotomy. 23. A. Sterile implant package, courtesy of Straumann. B. Implant data label, courtesy of Straumann. 24. Features of Andosius Implants Thread Design The original Brainamark implant was a cylindrical TI self-tapping screw. It had a smooth machine surface, and the threads extended from the apical end to the collar and restorative platform. Threads enable good primary stability and increase the effective surface area of an implant, thereby increasing the potential area for bone contact and force transmission to bone. 25. Nobel Biocare Brainamark Mark III and Mark IV implants with modifications to collar, grooves, and apical designs, from left to right, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. The platform diameter is slightly greater than the body diameter due to machining to produce the threads, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 26. The collar and platform were slightly wider than the body and this created a flange, which engaged the cortical bone at the ridge crest aiding initial stability. Contemporary implant designs are parallel or tapered, have modified thread design, and may have no flange. Three alternative early designs, ITI, IMZ, and Tubingen, had no threads and were called press fit. Some press fit designs, Freilet registered and IMZ, have adopted surface threading. 27. Currently, most implants have surface threads, and textured surfaces produced by a variety of proprietary treatments. However, there are still some press fit designs available. Some press fit designs, Freilet and IMZ, have adopted surface threads. Thread shape varies with a view to giving better initial stability especially in softer bone and better biomechanical force distribution to bone. A slight apical taper is often incorporated with or without deeper threads to ensure initial stability in softer bone. To date, the effects of thread design and taper parameters on implant success have not been validated. 28. Two implant variants that are tapered, with deep or shallow grooves and an internal hex platform switched connection, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 29. Implant length Implant length may range from 5.0 to 18.0 mm long depending on the implant company. Longer implants are specifically available for insertion into the zygomatic bone. Many of the early cases used Brainamark implants that were only 7.0 mm long. There was a gradual trend toward using the longest implant feasible, which would engage both mandibular cortical plates for optimum stability. 30. Currently, it seems acceptable to use an implant length of between 10.0 and 15.0 mm for 3.0 to 4.0 mm diameter implants, while accepting less length on 5.0 to 6.0 mm diameter implants. Research cannot give the clinician a definitive answer as to the optimum length of implant to use in a particular clinical circumstance. Studies have shown comparable survival rates for short, 10.0 mm long, implant, although longer implants might have a slightly better survival rate in partially dentate cases. For approximate comparative purposes, an implant measuring 4.0 times 10.0 mm is equivalent to a 5.0 times 8.0 mm, 
or a 6.0 times 6.0 mm implant assuming the same implant and bone configuration and bone density. It is likely that the number of implants is the more important treatment planning factor. Some implant companies, for example, Bicon, promote shorter implants. 31. Implant body and platform diameter implants are often referred to in terms of body diameter and platform diameter. Implant diameter refers to the widest part of the implant body that fits within the osteotomy site. Tapered implants have a gradient of diameter, being widest toward the platform. The platform, onto which a prosthetic component sits, is the top or occlusal aspect of an implant. It is often wider than the implant body itself as with the Brainamark design and Straumann flared neck, one-stage surgery, implants. The term platform was more relevant for external hex implants in that the platform supported the abutment, but is less relevant for many modern conical internal connection implants. Platform switching allows abutments to attach within the tapered, conical connection channel without fully covering the implant platform. 32. Diagram showing a range of implant, platform, diameters, and connection options, NP, narrow platform, RP, regular platform, WP, wide platform, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 33-33-34. Increasing the implant diameter increases the potential area for osseo integration and force transmission to bone. In many cases, the retaining screw diameter also increases as the implant diameter increases. Implant diameter is selected with reference to bone volume and tooth size. Typical implant diameters range from 3.0 to 6.0 mm, and implants are often termed narrow-slash-small, regular-slash-standard, wide, or extra-wide platform, based on the diameter of the platform or implant body at its widest section. 35. Narrow-slash-small, approximately 3.0 mm, suitable for mandibular incisors and maxillary lateral incisors regular-slash-standard, approximately 4.0 mm, suitable for all teeth except small incisors wide, approximately 5.0 mm, suitable for molars extra wide, approximately 6.0 mm, also suitable for molars. 36. Implant collar The collar, sometimes referred to as the neck, is the portion of the implant that lies just apical to the implant platform. Traditional implants had a smooth machined body and transmucosal collar. The collar was placed within the bony osteotomy thus making the implant platform flush with the bony crest. The height of the polished collar surface varies in width, and in many cases, a textured surface runs all the way to the coronal extent or platform. 37. Implants with machined, or grooved, and textured collar configurations, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 38. Polished collars are now designed to extend above the crestal bone, next to the soft tissue, whereas textured collars are placed within the bone. Collar diameter, height, and surface finish vary from product to product. Many collars also now include micro threads or grooves. ITI use a smooth machine transmucosal collar for mucosal contact, for their one stage surgery implants. The implant surface for bone contact is textured. 39. Implant examples showing flared, polished, and straight, textured, collars, and internal connections, courtesy of Straumann. 40. It had been theorized that bone loss may occur because of excessive strain at threads in the collar area, or because the smooth machined collar does not engage bone as well as a textured surface. This led to the use of micro-threads, or textured surfaces in the collar area in contact with bone, for better force distribution to bone. It is not known yet whether collar design variations have a significant bearing on long-term implant outcomes. 40. 41. Prosthetic connection and anti-rotation feature The majority of implants require a screw-retained prosthetic abutment, although one system uses a parallel post with frictional locking, by con. The abutment may be similar to a crown preparation, a combination abutment restoration, 
using a customized UCLA abutment, an overdenture putrix, anchor, or a bar support. The prosthetic connection permits retention of the prosthesis and provides a suitable method of transferring the clinical implant position to the laboratory master cast through the use of precisely fitting impression copings, impression abutments. Abutment retaining screws often have greater diameter on larger diameter implants. 42. Modern implants have an internal or external engaging or anti-rotation feature, which is used for implant placement and is essential for single-unit crowns but not essential for multi-unit restorations. Early Corvent designs incorporated the first internal hex connection for use with cementable overdenture and single-crown abutments. Zimmer implants and others use an updated version of this patented design. Many current implants use a variant of the Brainamark external or the Corvent internal connection. With an internal connection, it is easier for the clinician to find a positive seat for abutments subgingivally. A Nobel Biocare tri-channel internal connection is currently the most popular connection design. 43. One-piece implant integral abutments were a feature of subperiosteal, blade, and other implants such as early ITI implants, current Nobel Direct implants, and some Zimmer implants. Integral abutments present the risk of not achieving osseointegration because of inadvertent early functional contact. On the positive side, an integral abutment cannot loosen from the implant in function. 44. Implant platform Traditionally, the implant platform is the surface upon which a restorative abutment sits. The flat platform is surmounted by a protruding hex with a central screw hole. With the advent of wider diameter implants, the platform increased in diameter, thereby giving more support to the abutment and restoration. Many implants are of tapered design, and the implant diameter then refers to the diameter of the implant platform. Although external hex designs are still popular, many new internal connection designs have been introduced. These may no longer have a flat supportive platform, but instead have an internal cone-shaped or tapered connection with an anti-rotation feature. 45. Platform switching design for traditional implants, the diameter of the abutment and implant platform was the same at the connection point. This is referred to as platform matching. Lazara and Porter showed that the connection of a smaller diameter abutment reduced the amount of bone loss around implants after abutment connection. This concept, called platform switching, has been embraced by some leading clinicians and implant companies, and such designs are now widely offered. It is most desirable to minimize bone loss around implants, and thereby possibly increase soft tissue support especially in the aesthetic zone. However, more evidence is needed to validate the clinical benefits of platform switching. 46. The implant abutment junction, platform matching, A, B, C, and platform switching, D, designs, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 47. Surface finish slash texture Brainamark popularized smooth, machined, and threaded screws. Early IMZ and ITI implants had plasma sprayed, TI coated, textured surfaces, TPS. Corvent had a threaded and sandblasted surface. Calcitec, Strio SS registered, and IMZ used plasma sprayed hydroxyapatite, Ha, surfaces. Currently, major implant companies offer implants with a variety of proprietary surface textures or modifications created by a number of etching, sintering, anodizing, or blasting processes. Surface texture increases the surface area for osseo integration and creates an interlocking mechanical interface with bone. Textured surfaces show osseoconductive properties with superior speed and area of osseo integration over traditional smooth machine surface implants. 48. A. Implants with polished collars and textured threaded bodies. B. Healing abutment. C. UCLA abutment. D. Impression coping for open tray. E. Angled prefabricated abutment, courtesy of cam log. 49. Zimmer family of trabecular metal registered technology, TMT, implants, courtesy of Zimmer Dental. 50. Cover screw, 
healing abutment in one stage implant placement, a cover screw is used to fill the implant screw hole to prevent ingress of debris. Alternatively, a larger healing abutment can be used to develop a soft tissue emergence profile for the future restoration. Different implant companies provide various shapes of healing abutments for this purpose. In two-stage implant placement, after the implant is inserted into the osteotomy site, a cover screw is placed to minimize the risk of infection, and prevent bone growth over the implant platform. At second stage surgery, the cover screw is replaced by a transmucosal healing abutment. The healing abutment may be parallel sided or flared. 51. Healing abutments come in different shapes and sizes and their diameter may be the same or larger than the implant platform, expanded shapes are used to help create an optimum emergence profile, tissue shaping, for the final restoration, this decision being made at the discretion of the restorative dentist. One manufacturer, Biomet 3i, produces laser-coded abutments, 3i encode, to enable data transfer for cad cam prosthesis fabrication. 52. Healing abutments, color-coded and available in various heights and diameters, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 53. Prosthetic components The original Brainamark implant was placed so that the platform was flush with the bone crest. At second stage surgery, a cylindrical transmucosal abutment was attached with an abutment screw. This abutment was surmounted by a secondary abutment, to which the restoration was attached by means of a smaller prosthetic screw. Currently, a transmucosal healing abutment is placed at second stage surgery. This healing abutment is removed for impression taking and eventually is replaced by a prosthetic transmucosal abutment. 54. This prosthetic abutment may stand alone for a cemented crown such as a prefabricated Nobel BioCare Snappy Trademark abutment, or be an integral part of the final restoration, such as with UCLA abutments, for example, the Nobel BioCare Gold Adapt abutment. It may also be a Zest Locator Registered Anchor. There are many versions of stock or prefabricated and customizable abutments available. The UCLA prefabricated abutment gradually superseded the traditional Brainamark transmucosal healing abutment for single crowns. The UCLA prefabricated abutment allows a custom abutment or crown to be screwed directly to the implant. 55. Prosthetic implant components enable the clinician and laboratory technician to produce the final clinical prosthesis. The prosthesis may be one of the following, which may be screwed or cemented in place, single units, crown screw or cement multi-unit, FDPS one stage, screw or cement, two stage, screw only, full arch fixed multi-unit, FDP screw or cement, usually two stage, overdentures, resilient retentive anchors, zest, dalbo, or customized bars. 56. Screw retention is engineered to create a durable connection while balancing the strength of the screw and implant. A tapered or conical inlet to the screw hole gives a very secure immobile abutment fit that inhibits screw loosening and limits ingress of microflora at the implant abutment junction, IH. Abutments are retained by abutment screws that are torqued into the implant using a torque driver. Screw diameter and length varies. 57. Healing abutment slash transmucosal abutment tissue shaping abutment these abutments are placed at second stage surgery and allow the soft tissue to heal against a smooth ti surface this leads to the formation of a junctional epithelium and a close adaptation of connective tissue around the implant and abutment the soft tissue around the implant may be modified or shaped in order to create an optimal emergence profile for the final restoration this can be achieved with a tapered stock healing abutment or with a custom fabricated provisional crown. Healing abutments are tightened with finger-held screwdrivers. 57. 58. Impression coping or abutment, implant analog, or replica an impression coping or abutment screws into the implant, fits the implant precisely and permits transfer of accurate implant positional information from the mouth to the laboratory master cast using a conventional dental impression. There are two types of impression coping, pickup and transfer copings. The pickup coping remains in the impression, 
while the transfer coping stays in the implant after taking the impression. Prior to pouring the master cast, the impression coping is connected to a matching implant analog slash replica. The cast will have the implant analog in its correct 3D position for laboratory fabrication of the prosthesis. 59. Impression copings for open and closed tray techniques, courtesy of cam log. 60. Provisional restoration abutments Several different types of provisional restoration abutments are available, made from TI or resin. Some types of abutments screw directly into the implant and can be modified to receive a cemented provisional crown. Other abutments have a textured surface for resin application, and are retained to the implant by a central abutment screw. The screw hole access for maxillary anterior units is often on the labial side due to implant angulation, and must be filled with a suitable correction resin. 61. A variety of provisional abutments, courtesy of Nobel BioCare. 62. Stock slash prefabricated abutments There are many varieties of stock abutments, such as multi-unit abutments, used for two-stage screw-retained prostheses, crown preparation-shaped abutments, and overdenture abutments. The estorative abutment may have an anti-rotation connection with the implant depending on its planned usage. It will usually be retained by an abutment screw. Stock abutments are made from TI and a variety of ceramics or metal alloys. They may or may not be customizable in terms of angle, height, and finish line configuration. The soft tissue height determines the subgingival collar height of such abutments, and different subgingival collar heights are available. Restorative abutments are torqued into place at manufacturer-determined torque. The final restoration is cemented over the abutment. 63. A. A variety of prefabricated restorative abutments, courtesy of cam log. B. A variety of prefabricated restorative abutments, courtesy of Nobel BioCare. 64. Custom restorative abutments Custom restorative abutments are fabricated by waxing and casting directly onto a UCLA-type cylindrical abutment that has a machined implant connection and a plastic waxing sleeve. These abutments can be configured in wax with appropriate marginal and axial preparation configurations for cemented crown slash FDPS, and then cast to in noble alloy. They may also be configured as the final framework for porcelain application, creating a one-piece metal ceramic, screw-retained crown slash FDP. Alternatively, custom ceramic or TI abutments can be fabricated using a CAD slash CAM method such as Nobel Procera registered 64. 65. Custom milled Nobel slash Procera trademark abutments, ceramic and TI, for cemented crowns, courtesy of Nobel BioCare. 66. Multi-unit abutments Conical abutments are traditional Brainamark abutments designed for two-stage screw-retained crowns and FDPS. The abutments are small and have a custom carrier or handle for safety of oral placement. They may be straight or angled. They have a range of subgingival collar heights. Appropriate abutment heights are chosen by the clinician or laboratory technician based on the implant level impression. They are torqued into the implants, and the final restoration is secured using small prosthetic screws. The use of multi-unit abutments is declining. 67. Standard abutments Standard abutments, also known as gold cylinders, are the traditional transmucosal abutments used in the early Brainamark hybrid fixed cases. They extend through the gingiva and provide the platform for the final prosthesis, which is retained by prosthetic screws. Traditionally, the cylinder could be grasped supergingivally with a special hemostat in order to supply counter torque to the implant fixture while the abutment screw was tightened. 68. Overdenture abutments The two most popular overdenture abutments are Zest Locator Registered, Zest Anchors, and Dalbo Plus Registered Ball, Sendras Metas, Attachments or Anchors. Other variants include generic stock abutments to which various bars can be soldered for retention of overdentures. All these abutments are made of TI, Zest anchors have a gold-colored TI nitride coating. Both Zest and Dalbo attachment systems permit approximately 30 degrees of off-axis implant alignment. 6969 
70 70 71 screws screwdrivers and torque drivers 72 screwdrivers screwdrivers drivers are designed for finger use or latch type handpiece drill use intra orally there are certain popular screwdriver tips such as slotted square hex and star shaped for each finger driver there is usually a latch type version for a handpiece or a handheld torque driver it is important to select the correct driver for the correct screw in order to avoid damaging screw heads or losing screws intraorally. Finger held drivers usually have a hole for threading floss and making the driver captive. 73. Abutment screws for Nobel Biocare internal connection implants, upper screws are for zirconia, and lower for TI abutments, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 74. A variety of screwdrivers and tools used for the Nobel Biocare system, courtesy of Nobel Biocare. 75. Abutment screws and prosthetic screws Abutment and prosthetic screws are made from TI, TI alloy, or a based alloy. Designated screws must be used as per manufacturer's directions for optimum results. Screws for ceramic and metal abutments may be of different design. Laboratory screws are also provided for use during fabrication of prostheses. Many modern abutment screws are designed to be pressed rest at specific tightening torques, thereby creating thread distortion and preventing screw loosening. Surface treatments, e.g., carbon coating, have been variously used by implant companies to reduce tightening friction in order to enhance preload. 75. 76. Implant marketplace and system selection without reliable manufacture and supply, implantology cannot progress. Without industry support for research, academic impetus, and independent implant innovation by working dentists, dental implantology will stagnate. The needs of the profession have thus far been answered by the implant industry with continuous development of new products. 77. Currently, Nobel Biocare is the worldwide market leader, followed closely by Strauman and others. Nobel Biocare marketed the first TI screw implant and this was also the first implant for dental use approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Strauman, Dent Supply, Biomet 3i, Biohorizons, and Zimmer also have a large share of the implant market, and have comprehensive systems, training programs, and support. Consistency and conservatism should guide our approach to new implant products. It is important that when using a system of implants for your patients, you should expect compatible components to be available for a period of perhaps 50 years or the lifetime of the patient. 78. Jockstad wrote that there were up to 600 different implant systems produced by 146 different manufacturers. He discussed the issue of FDA approval criteria and the difficulties for current and future clinicians coping with so many systems. He further noted that the vast majority of systems had no clinical research documentation. The presence in the marketplace of so many systems and aggressive marketing leaves the clinician with thoughtful decisions to make in his or her clinical practice. 79. When selecting an implant company and system, the following should be considered the history, reputation, and longevity of the company, the quality of service and support from the company, the quality and strength of the company's research, the preferences of other members of the implant team. 80. The dental patient population is mobile and patients may need follow-up maintenance by other dentists. Therefore company name, support, and universality become important when choosing an implant system. The lack of compatibility between systems, and the evolution of components and tool sets may lead to problems for patients and dentists in the future, as patients move and dentists retire.